Hi everyone, I'm Mark Rep, Technology Trainer at Port Huron Schools, and today we're going to take a first look at the Dell Latitude 3379 2-in-1 laptop. This is the laptop that was purchased with bond money for teachers to use in their classrooms. Now a few tips. One of the things that makes this laptop so desirable is the fact that it is not just a typical keyboard-driven laptop. It also is a touchscreen device that can be folded into a tablet. When I click on this little button in the very far right side of the taskbar, you'll see that the Action Center pops up, and you'll see all settings over here at the right. If you click on this and expand it, you can get directly into your Windows settings, or if I close the settings and go back into the Action Center and click on the button again, you can expand the Action Center to show all of the buttons in one place. One of the options you have is Tablet Mode. And when you click on that button, it will immediately transform your laptop into a touchscreen tablet. Tapping on the Windows Start button will take me right back into the tiles. Now you'll notice that when you're in tablet mode, the buttons are slightly different, and it's all meant to be touchscreen instead of mouse and keyboard driven. So I'll go back to the Action Center and turn off tablet mode. and we now return to your normal desktop. Here's another tip. When you hold down anywhere with a touchscreen device and let go, you get a right click. Then you can touch any of these options just as you would a mouse. Now that we know that right click is just touch and hold, let's touch and hold down on the taskbar and I want to show you something very important. Now you'll notice right now the only button that I have enabled here is Show Task View button. That's the button down here, right next to the search box, which shows multiple applications that you have open at the same time. Directly below that is Show Windows Ink Workspace button. And it's highly recommended that you enable this if it isn't enabled already. So I'll touch that, and you'll see that what happened is a little button over here just appeared right there. When I touch it, it brings up Windows Ink Workspace. Some of the features of Windows Ink Workspace to be used by your finger or a stylus or a pen, and the built-in apps that are meant to be used with this are Sticky Notes, Sketchpad, and Screen Sketch. Now I'm going to take a moment to introduce you to each of these. The first is Sticky Notes. With Sticky Notes, all you have to do is type with your keyboard if you click on the plus sign, you can add additional sticky notes. When you click on the X, the sticky notes can then be moved around on your desktop or deleted with the trash can. And they can be made smaller so they don't take up as much screen real estate. The next feature of Windows Ink Workspace is called Sketchpad. When you open Sketchpad, you get a ballpoint pen, pencil, highlighter, eraser, a ruler and protractor, the ability to undo or redo, a cropping tool, the trash can, the save as option, which would allow you to save it as a PNG image. You can copy and you can share anything that you've created in Sketchpad. The basic idea is that you can use your finger or a stylus to draw or highlight anything, use the eraser to erase, and if you use the ruler, you can use your thumb and forefinger to rotate the ruler, and then using the pen or pencil, you can draw an absolutely straight line. That's a quick look at Sketchpad. Now if I go into a website or something that I want to share from Google Chrome, for example, whatever you currently have showing on your screen, if you touch Screen Sketch, it will take a screenshot of it, and then you can annotate over top of it with any of these pencils, pens, or highlighters. Just make sure that you touch the finger to turn the tools on. And again, if you make a mistake, just undo. 
If you need a different color, touch and hold any of the tools and you can change the color immediately. And there is, of course, in the eraser, the erase all ink button, which erases everything on your screen that you've annotated. When you're done, you can save it. And again, it saves as a PNG. Now I have Google Keep open right now, which is an excellent Google app that you can use for taking notes and is a nice alternative to sticky notes and much more powerful. So I can take anything that I have open on my desktop, pinch and zoom right in on whatever I'm showing at the time. To zoom out, just pinch. To zoom in, reverse pinch. And you can also do this with websites. Now let me show you another feature of this amazing two-in-one device. I said it's only about three and a half pounds, so it's very light to pick up. But it's also easy to tilt and flip. Now I can make a tent out of it and use it as a touchscreen tablet like this. Another button that you can uncover by holding down on the taskbar is Show Touch Keyboard button, which then shows you this tiny little keyboard icon that can be touched at any time to bring up a keyboard very much like on an iPad. The keyboard can be broken down into a regular keyboard, a split keyboard, or a handwriting recognition keyboard. If you're using an application like Microsoft Word, you could bring up the keyboard and handwrite. It would then convert your handwriting to text and insert it directly into Word. If you want to delete a word, just draw a line through it. To close the keyboard, just touch the X. Now we showed how you can make a tent out of this but you can also fold it in on itself and then use it as a tablet. So now it becomes a tablet. Keyboard on one side, touchscreen tablet on the other. And you can hold it this way for note taking Now when you're ready to go back to using your laptop in desktop mode, just fold it back and you're right back to using it with the keyboard. So that's a look at the brand new Dell Latitude 3379 2-in-1 touchscreen laptop. Of course it still uses the keyboard like always, but it has additional features to make it a very versatile and powerful device for our district teachers. <laughs>